Hello, I'm Michelle Alvarado, and this is In Search of Giants. Can you imagine what it would be like to swim next to a 79,000 pound Megabatera Nova Angeli? I had that very thought when I was eight years old. I was leaning over a whale watching trip, and when I saw it was a school bus size humpback whale swim right under me and breach its entire body. On the way back, I saw a couple snorkelers swimming with whales, so I asked our guide if we could uh, go swim with them. And he said that in Hawaii they were protected, so that you had to be either a marine biologist or a photographer. Knowing my dad was a photographer, I thought we were in luck. But he said something about permits and that it being pretty much impossible. Yet, my imagination at that age was already imagining myself underwater giving a high five to a humpback whale. This whale watching trip would come full circle. Years later, I um, came home, I think it was in middle school, and there was a pamphlet probably put there by my mom. And on it was a whale that had been hoisted up, killed, and on top of it said Greenpeace. Now, I'm not associated with Greenpeace, so you know. Um, and what was even more shocking was I learned that hundreds and thousands of whales had been harpooned. So I decided even though I didn't make much allowance earnings, I would donate something because I knew at least I had to do something. So here was the problem. New technology was allowing for planes to fly up, spot a whale or a pod of whales, and then the boats would come high speed, single out a whale, harpoon loaded, and going. But what Greenpeace did is these amazing, crazy volunteers would jump into a Zodiac boat go high speed in between the harpoon and the whale. Often this is in very frigid waters, so it was extraordinary da extraordinarily dangerous, um, but yet very effective. What happened was that it ended up, uh, really the story ended up coming home, and the press took place and the Save the, Wh Save the Whale movements took place. So over a century, I think things kind of got out of hand. Basically, 360,000 blue whales, our largest mammals, were slaughtered. 38,000 right whales, 200,000 humpback whales, and the list goes on. Over 2 million humpback whales in the 20th century were killed. Now I know this is getting a little depressing. So, <laughs> uh, But thankfully, in 1986, a moratorium was put in place and commercial whaling ended. Well, all but three countries uh, stopped doing commercial whaling. And what it taught me was that out, way out there in our ocean, it's really hard sometimes to see what's going on. But thankfully, because of the media and the photographers, they brought the story home and change occurred. That was a real uh, opening to me. It also helped that Star Trek The Voyager made the humpback whale as the key to the Earth's survival. So fast forward 10 years, I got a job at the Monterey Bay Aquarium as a videographer. And I got invited to uh, go to Tonga and swim with whales. And so I perched up, and of course, I was keeping a keen eye. As soon as I saw the whales coming by the boat, I ran down, threw on my gear, grabbed my camera, jumped in. As I'm fiddling with the buttons to turn on, I look down and I see this enormous, beautiful humpback looking right back up at me. We were both sort of curious and just enjoyed looking at each other. The next day we got to go, and we actually got to go in with a female and a calf. And what's interesting is that that adult probably saw her parents harpooned. But now, uh, in protected waters, thanks to Greenpeace and many other organizations, her calf and her were now safe in Tonga. And what this taught me is that change can occur. And with perseverance and patience, good things will happen. I also learned that a little girl's dream can come true. However, the whales are a example of many other species that are being impacted due to human activity. So I feel like there's still a lot of work to be done. But what's exciting and very relevant is that just Monday, I learned that Japan actually um, decided they were one of the three fleets out there harpooning, and they just announced that they were going to end commercial whaling for good. So that just happened Monday. <laughs> yeah. So that's another 
thousand beautiful great giants still in our sea. I want to thank my beautiful daughter, my father, for believing in me, uh, the photographers Ignite Ben, and you guys. You are awesome. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.